There's another test called the nth root test, which works just like the the ratio test. Um, I think in general, wherever the ratio test works, the nth root. I'm sorry, wherever the nth root test works, the ratio test will as well. The ratio test works very well with factorials. The nth root test works with exponent works well with exponentials. But um, you can you can use either you can often use either one, and it just becomes a preference. So I figure I might as well show you the nth root test in case it. It appeals to you and you, you just like the way it is, the way it works. Um, so, again, same criterion as the ratio test, but what we're doing is we're taking the nth root of our term, of the sequence that describes our terms, and seeing what that limit goes to. So, to apply it to this problem, I would take the nth root of 3 to the n divided by m cubed times 2 to the n now nth roots can be I can uh, sort of distribute I know it's not the right term for it but can af again affect those individually and so now you see that you've got the limit as n goes to infinity of 3 over 2 times the nth root of n cubed uh, and again the three halves can come out so now we're looking at this limit And this it gets tricky here, but um, the nth root of n cubed can be written as 1 over the nth root of n cubed. And the reason that's significant is because we know that the the um, we know that the nth root of n goes to one as n goes to infinity, so this limit goes to three halves times one, which equals three halves. But three halves is bigger than one, and that implies that our original series diverges. All right, so again, the nth root test behaves very much like the uh, uh, works, just like the ratio test. Let's just do this example here. So we take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root. I'm just going to take the nth root of the terms right away. So this equals the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of n divided by natural log of n. Now the numerator goes to 1 as n goes to infinity. The denominator goes to infinity. So this goes to 0. So since 0 is less than 1, this series converges. So there's the nth root test. Uh, it can, it's often used as a substitute for the for the ratio test but I don't it's not necessary this is kind of like a bonus a bonus test you, you can use you can use it to find the radi the radius and interval of convergence which we'll do in the next uh, example here we're going to use the nth term test to find the radius of convergence for this series this power series. So that works by taking the nth root and we're going to be taking the nth root of um, so let me just so we'll take the nth root of the whole thing for now. Now I'm going to put this x minus 2 to the n in absolute values and the reason you do that is because 
the nth root test uh, also applies only to when with terms that are positive. So we need to ensure that's positive. So this ends up being the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of x minus 2 to the n divided by the nth root of n times the nth root of 3 to the n. So this is the absolute value of x minus 2, the nth root of n times 3, and absolute value of x minus 2 over 3 can come out of the limit, and so we're left with just this. Now this goes to 1, because the nth root of n goes to 1. So this goes to, so this equals the absolute value of x minus 2 over 3. We need this, so the series converges. whenever this expression is less than 1. But that implies that the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than 3. And we're only asked to find the radius of convergence, so there it is. So when you use the nth root test, you'll notice that a lot of nth root of n's show up. And since we know that those limits go to 1, uh, that limit goes to 1, then uh, that's what makes these uh, limits easy to evaluate in the end, ultimately. All right, so that takes care of the ratio test, the, uh, the nth root test. Is a, there was a lot in this chapter, if you've followed me this far. Um, and it's uh, again, it's a tough, tough topic for many students, so you just need to... You need to do many problems, get comfortable with them so they're not so intimidating anymore.